Jack is one month old today and I thought I'd bring you along in a little day in the life. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I've got little baby Jack on my lap right now because he's feeling pretty gassy, so I'm doing some tummy time. And we've already started off the day with some little heart waffles that I got the waffle maker from Target. Uh, I figured if I'm going to get a mini waffle maker, a heart one would be good because that you really can use year round. I know that they sometimes sell more themed ones for different parts of the year, and I'd rather not like have a full collection, but I thought a heart one would be cute. So I picked that one up, and Aubrey's enjoying her breakfast right now. But all three of us pretty much slept in today, so I was grateful that my mom was able to kind of take care of Aubrey and get her out of bed while I nursed Jack this morning. And as far as plans for the rest of the day go, I kind of want to do a coffee run. I want to start to clean out our new old suburban Juan's family were getting their old car just because we're gonna you know soon outgrow my little RAV4 and so I want to start like vacuuming that out and then we'll eventually do like a nice you know deep clean so that might be like an entirely different video like cleaning video but I'll show some of the footage in today's video since that's what I'm doing I'm getting that done and then we got a fun new little toy for Aubrey to play with, and I will show you guys that. So just a few little things today, trying to still pretty much lay low because having a one month old is still quite exhausting. And I'll give you guys some updates on how Jack's doing later on too. It is also worth mentioning that I was majorly spit up on earlier today, so, you know, a change of clothes will probably happen at least once. But let me go ahead and finish up breakfast with these kiddos and then we might go on that coffee run. So got my little change. Also, Jack got a little change because he spit up all over himself. So we're on our second outfit for today and we're gonna be heading to the coffee bean because I got a gift card for my birthday. So I'm excited to try a new drink there that looks delicious. Let's go get it. So as soon as we got home from the coffee bean, I decided to vacuum out the car. I know that we still have even more vacuuming, like the wet vac and all of that stuff to do and getting in the tiny crevices, but I figured, you know, a good quick vacuum would be nice. So I took care of all of that. Baby Jack slept for the whole time, which is one of the reasons why I decided to tackle that now. Aubrey played nicely in the little garage. so. Now we just have to clean up the cords and probably go in and try out Aubrey's new toys. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay! It's a little 
purse that can hold all the cars. And then when you're not holding the cars. Whoa! Whoa, look at that. Okay. So with Jack by my side doing some tummy time, Aubrey and I got to playing with her new toys. I'd like to thank Bamamon for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Bamamon sent us this awesome set of push cars for Aubrey and eventually Jack to play with. In the box, you get seven vehicles, a car, truck, bus, tractor, taxi, police car, and helicopter, as well as a little tote bag. The tote bag not only carries the toys when you are all done with them, but also doubles as a little play mat with parking spots, a little road, and some other landscape decorations. It seals up with Velcro so it is easy for the kids to open and close on their own. With just a push, you can make the vehicles drive on their own and no batteries are needed. Aubrey really enjoyed playing with the cars. She especially loved that there was a police car since she loves first responders and anything that involves saving the day. I will put the product's Amazon link below in the description box if you want to find out more information on how you can get these for yourself or your kiddos. Again, I'd like to thank Bamamon for sponsoring this portion of today's video and for providing us with lots of fun this afternoon. Being a mom of now two, I've realized how important it is that Aubrey plays on her own so that I can feed baby Jack or just get stuff done around the house. And having these cars was nice because Aubrey could just play on her own and she really didn't even need me there. She was entertained with just the toys by themselves. So let's go ahead and check out a little bit more of Aubrey having fun with these toys. I don't know where a bag I did. After playing with the cars for a while, Aubrey suggested we read to Baby Jack. So we broke out these little Bible board books that my brother and sister-in-law got Jack for his baptism and read away. Afterwards, we relaxed a bit since Aubrey had been skipping naps a lot, and soon it was time for me to make dinner. Okay, so I wanted to make a more aesthetically pleasing part of this video of me making dinner, but this little guy is like super whiny. I got TV in the background, so that's realistic. And Aubrey is telling me she's hungry, so I'm trying my best. I'm gonna be making chicken, rice, and broccoli and cauliflower as best as I can while maintaining his little cries, putting him back down, picking him back up. And maybe I'll, you know, film some of it and or you'll just see the final product. But this is real life and this is me trying to figure out how to do a day in the life with two kids by myself.
up my day in the life here it's actually like quarter after four in the morning I'm waiting on Jack to wake up he has almost been sleeping for seven hours which is the longest stretch he's ever slept and I don't really want to you know stop him or you know stop encouraging him to sleep more I have been pretty blessed for at least the last like week maybe week and a half of getting anywhere from five to six hour stretches from him so seven hours is a pretty big deal. I did just get done pumping one side of milk, which is like probably about six ounces. It looks a little pink. Maybe I have a clogged duct from him sleeping so long. So I'm probably gonna wake him up to nurse him on the other side. But first I gotta bag these guys up. But I'd like to thank you guys for coming along in this day in the life. It may not be as glamorous as some of the other ones that you've watched, but I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do YouTube and stuff while having my hands full with a now one month old and my three year old Aubrey. So uh, thank you for the grace that you give me in you know my learning curve. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you stick around and check out all that I have to offer. We're gonna be moving into our new home hopefully at the end of this month. So. You know, there's a lot of fun things to come and organization stuff to come as well. I'm looking forward to that. So anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.